the entertainment business breeds some rare characters, and you'd have to search harder than I'd want to to find someone as unique as Willie Nelson. We caught up with Nelson this spring as he toured with the Highwaymen, Chris Christopherson, Johnny Cash, and Waylon Jennings. If you detect a rumbling noise under the interview with Willie, know that it's a sound that backs up most of Willie's conversations. It's the sound of his bus's engine, the sound of home. What I'm doing. On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. Everything you could want to know about Willie Nelson is in his songs, the many lovers he left behind. His sorrowful goodbyes. They'll never stay home and they're always gone. Even with someone they love. And his good days on the road again. He spent four decades creating a musical score for his life. Nightlife ain't no good life, but it's my life. His fate and fortune have risen and dropped like a tune on the charts. He was destitute in the 60s, resorting to selling encyclopedias to support his family. Hit songs in the 70s made him a millionaire, and he rewarded everyone who had stuck it out with him. In 1980, Nelson discovered he'd been a little too charitable and cavalier with his finances. He owed the tax man to the tune of $2 million for the years 1975 through 78. Nelson says bad advice from his accounting firm turned the $2 million into a $16.7 million debt, swollen by interest and penalties. Willie would like to dedicate this song to the IRS. I should have said and done. I just never took the time. But you were always on my mind. The IRS already has auctioned off most of his property and belongings. Willie recorded the IRS tapes, hoping there'd be enough interest in his recorded memories to take care of the rest of the debt. Is it over? Well, as Yogi Bear says, it's not over till it's over. <laughs> How many more years do they do you have to work for them? Uh, well, I don't know. We're talking. We're closer than we were, and we're reaching, I think, some sort of an agreement where I can uh, see the light at the end of the tunnel, as they say, and uh, hopefully it's not a freight train. <laughs> Lesson to be learned from this? Don't trust your accountants and your lawyers to know everything, because they don't. And did you also learn something about your fans from this? Oh, I learned that I had the greatest fans in the world. And... I support him. How about two, two of his uh, IRS cassettes? We all have trouble with the IRS just like <laughs> Willie does. He's working for a living. I give him all the credit in the world. Are you ever afraid of being dirt poor again? No. I've been dirt poor and uh, I wasn't that unhappy. Uh, I had, of course, back then being dirt poor is different than being, <clears throat> excuse me, dirt poor today. We had a garden in the back uh, of the house where we grew our own food and we raised our own meat. And, uh... His experience growing up in the Depression on a cotton farm in Texas gave him an appreciation for the hardships of that way of life. And that's why, despite his own financial woes, Willie, once again this spring, staged Farm Aid, taking care of his own. Nelson started Farm Aid in 1985. When traveling across the country performing, he heard the laments from America's heartland. Willie travels nearly always by bus, the Honeysuckle Rose, named for the movie of the same title. He rarely gets off the bus, even when they stop to eat. He has his food delivered to him, refusing to leave the womb. See, maple syrup. Maple syrup. That means you're doing pancakes? Uh, or just drink maple syrup. Just drink maple syrup? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, see, I take you seriously. <laughs> okay. You shouldn't do that. No. Why not? <clears throat> because I'm not a very serious person, really. I can be moving or I can be still moving, but still, still moving to me. Still, still moving to me. His teenage mother was the first to hit the road. She left when Willie was six months old. His father left before he turned three. He and his sister Bobby were left in the loving and musical hands of the grandparent Nelsons. In 
It was his grandfather who bought him his first guitar at age five and baptized him in the church in gospel music. Grandpa Nelson died when Willie was six, and that's when the youngster started writing heartbreak, you left me, but I want you back again songs. From growing up as a little boy, your grandparents were the ones who actually got you involved in music. Your sister was keyboard and still is a keyboard artist. Why did you go the way of music instead of farming? Why did you go the way of music instead of oil? I think it was the girls. <laughs> I really believe that's the pull came from the, that side. Uh, <laughs> so the song you did with Julio Iglesias was speaking from history. Truthfully, I'd have to say that, I think. <laughs> Nelson was no overnight music sensation. He finally started attracting attention as a songwriter in the 60s, first with Porter Wagner's Hello Walls, then with Patsy Cline's signature smash hit. That song just fits Patsy so, so well. But does it fit you? Oh, it always, yeah. It always, the word crazy fits me, so everything else had to. You know. When you first went to Nashville, because of your bluesy voice and your outlaw attitude, that you weren't taken in as you are now. And there was a story that said that at one time you were so distressed by what was happening in Nashville, and you need to tell me if this is true or not, that you actually, actually went out, laid in the middle of Broadway, and hoped a truck would run over you? Is that true? Yeah, but fortunately it was 3 in the morning and the traffic wasn't that heavy. So. What brought that on? Uh, who knows? You know, what makes you do things? I don't know. Are you an impetuous person? Absolutely, yeah. Does that sometimes get you into trouble, and how? All the time, all the time. How? Well, when you're... <clears throat> have a tendency to do whatever comes natural, let's say whatever comes off the top of your mind, you have a tendency to get in trouble. Honesty is not always the best policy. <laughs> but secrecy hasn't always worked out so well for Nelson either. For example, Willie's second wife, Shirley, found out about Willie's mistress turned third wife, Connie, when she opened a bill from the hospital where Willie's child by his mistress had just been born. Last September, Willie took his fourth wife, Annie. Why is it you think Americans, despite your tax problems and wife problems, why is it that folks still love you no matter what you do? You can do no wrong. Well, I don't think I'd go that far, but uh, I don't really do anything that bad, really. Uh, not in my own mind. I look back and see things that I've done stupid, but as far as intentionally doing anything wrong or bad, I, I don't. You know, they always call you the outlaw, of course, with your highway men friends, and that's who you're on tour with. What makes an outlaw? What do you got to do to be an outlaw? No, I think you have to uh, be independent, uh, be an independent thinker, and, uh, and sort of stubborn. <laughs> and there's more to it than that? Probably not. <laughs> Hard drinker, heavy smoker, stay up all nighter? I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that was a qualification at all, no. Anyone can do that. How would you feel about marijuana smoking? In the old days you used to do it, do you still do it? If I want to, I will. Uh, it's my prerogative. I'm 21 years old, and uh, sometimes I might take a drink of tequila, too, you know. <laughs> How do you handle that with your kids? Uh, my children, when they are of an age to do what their willpower and their minds tell them to do, uh, I will not try to change them. Uh, I think moderation is the key to anything. You have little, little bitty kids. I saw the drawings behind, which are a piece of home. Now, this is Micah. He's almost two. And uh, Lucas did that when he's three. And you're 58 now? No, I'm, uh, I'm born in, I'm a little bored, uh, over that. So how is it coping with little ones at this age and being on the road so much? Well, first of all, it's educational being around two and three year old kids uh, again and, uh, and it really takes you back. Uh, it's educational, it's, uh, uh, it's everything it's, and it's also wonderful. Willie has seven children from the four marriages, and this past Christmas Day, he discovered how much pain can accompany the joys of parenthood. His eldest son and namesake, seen here with his mother and Willie, hanged himself at age 33. Billy had been treated for alcoholism the year before. 
You had a very tragic instance this past Christmas, and I thought of Chris Christopherson's call, uh, song, Why Me, Lord. Do you ever think that when things happen to you? Why me, Lord? And then how do you get over it? How do you move past it? Well, that's, that's one you know thing. You, you, I don't I don't know the answer to that one. I don't know how we get from point A to point B after things like that happen. I'm always amazed at uh, where the strength the strength that comes. I know where it comes from. I just am always amazed at the amount of it. And that particular incident was was a perfect example of that. I never thought that I would be able to survive something like that. Uh, I've heard it a bit happening to other people, and I was thought how devastating it must be and how impossible it would be to get past that. But somewhere the uh, strength does come and you do go on. His friend Chris Christopherson once said of Willie, he's like being around Buddha because of the positive vibes he puts off. Even with the boatload of tragedy and turmoil Willie's been hauling around this past year, there's still a peacefulness about him. In a childlike grin and in those legendary mysterious eyes, those Texas eyes, always looking for a home, only to find his home has been under him all the time. The life I love is making music with my friends, and I can't wait to get on the road again. Willie has signed a 200-day tour sponsored by Jose Cuervo Tequila, and he's building a concert hall in Branson, Missouri, where he'll give his traveling legs a rest from time to time. 